So if you have strong basic math skills, this should be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem. So we have bracket, then one half cubed. And now here I have parentheses, but the problem that I'm going to be doing has no parentheses. But uh, either way, uh, this is what we have times parentheses. Now this parentheses right here is very important. 6 squared plus 30 divided by 5 times 3 and parentheses divided by 6 and bracket. Okay, so again, no calculators, but uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so let's take a look at the answer here. The correct answer is 9 eighths. Now, if this is what you got and you did not use a calculator, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like Amos, do you too, math man? I thought I knew the answer. Well, no big deal. I'm going to go through this thing step by step. Matter of fact, uh, hopefully you did the problem one step at a time because if you made an error, and of course, if you didn't get this answer, you did make an error. But uh, if you don't show all your work, you're not going to know where you went wrong. But uh, either way, I'm going to go ahead and get into this right now. All right. Now, the first thing that we want to uh, notice about this problem is that we are dealing with more than one math operation. So here we have division, multiplication, division, addition, powers, and even more powers. So when you have a math problem with more than one math operation, you need to know the proper order of operations, which means you need to know this thing right here, called PEMDAS. Okay, so PEMDAS tells, tells us the correct order to do a problem that has more than one math operation to it. So again, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and powers, these things are called mathematical operations. Okay, so PEMDAS is a checklist. It goes from left to right. Now, a lot of you might be saying, hey, Mr. D2 Math Man, I already know PEMDAS. You don't need to explain this. Well, a lot of people think they understand uh, PEMDAS or the, order, or the order of operations better than they actually do. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly tell you what these letters stand for, and then we'll go through the problem, and uh, you know we'll see how much you actually know about the order of operations. Okay, so P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents or powers. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now again, this is a checklist. You go from left to right, but this is kind of a basic uh, explanation of PEMDAS. But uh, what I'm giving you right here is typically how people kind of understand it. So go ahead and take that uh, quick explanation and see if you can do this problem step by step. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. Now, of course, I'm going to explain PEMDAS further, but uh, we're going to start with P, right? So this stands for parentheses. So if we have any parentheses in our problem, we're going to start there. So that means we're going to start right here in the problem. Now, just a quick explanation. Uh, P stands for parentheses, but it really means grouping symbols. So these type of parentheses, brackets, or even these type of squiggly brackets, and you're going to start with the innermost parentheses. Okay, so that means we need to figure out this part of the problem first. It's kind of like a problem within a problem. Okay, so here is that part of the problem. So we have six squared plus 30 divided by five times three. All right, so let's go back to our PEMDAS checklist, and where do you think we should start? All right, so P, uh, do we have parentheses? Well, we do, so we're kind of done with that step. E stands for exponents, but that means powers, so we are probably uh, want to start with 6 squared. So if you're like, yes, Mr. D2 Math Man, that's what I was thinking, well, that is uh, spot on. Okay, so we're going to be starting with uh, this part of the problem here, but uh, before I could, uh, continue on, Let's just kind of put some letters to these operations. So we have addition, so that's A right here. Uh, 30 divided by 5, that's D, so that's D right there. And then this is multiplication, so that's M right there. Now again, PEMDAS is a checklist. It goes from left to right. So think about what we're going to do next after we take care of this 6 squared. Okay, so 6 squared is what? Well, that's 6, uh, six times 6, or 36. 
Okay, so now we have 36 plus 30 divided by 5 times 3. All right, so the next thing we need to do here is division, 30 divided by 5. Now, this is where a lot of people get confused. So let me go ahead and write PEMDAS up here again. So we did parentheses. We did exponents or powers. So most of you might be saying, hey, Mr. Teacher Math Man, shouldn't we, do, uh, shouldn't we do multiplication next? Well, no, that's not how PEMDAS works. So the way this actually works is that you're going to do multiplication or division, uh, whatever you see first from left to right. So if your problem has both multiplication and division, you're going to have to scan and see what do you see first from left to right, and that's what you're going to do. So in this case, we see division before multiplication, so we're going to um, do 30 divided by 5 first. All right, so this is a very common mistake, so let's go ahead and finish this up. So we have 36 plus 30 divided by 5, of course, is 6 times 3. All right, so we're down to addition and multiplication. So the next step is going to be multiplication. That's always going to be, uh, come before addition. So 6 times 3, of course, is 18. So now we have 36 plus 18. Now here we are almost done with that parentheses step. So our final answer here is 54. Okay, so that means that this part of the problem brackets 1 half cubed times parentheses 6 squared plus 30 divided by 5 times 3 and parentheses divided by 6 and brackets. Now, of course, we just did all of this work right here, and that's equal to 54. So our problem now boils down to 1 half cubed times 54 divided by 6. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, Check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so now we're down to the last remaining steps to solve this problem. So we need to go back to our PEMDAS checklist. So P again stands for parentheses, grouping symbols, or brackets. So we do have these brackets right here, but to all the math uh, that's uh, left to do in this problem is inside of these brackets. So all we have to do is do all of this and we will be done. Okay, so the next thing on our checklist is E, which stands again for exponents or powers. So we do have this right here. So this is one half to the third power. Now this means the same thing as one half in parentheses cubed or one half to the third power. So don't uh, be confused, uh, these things are the same. Now, if there was a negative sign here, um, whether that was in parentheses or not would be a big difference. Okay, so one half to the third power means take one half and multiply it by itself three times. Okay, so one half times one half times one half is equal to one eighth. So now we took care of our exponents or powers and we're down to uh, last uh, the last two remaining uh, operations here, and that is what? Well, that is multiplication and division. Okay, so uh, we took care of our parentheses, more or less. There's nothing really left to do here. Uh, we took care of our powers, our exponents. So now we're down to multiplication and division. And remember, we have to do whatever we see first from left to right. So that's going to be multiplication. So we need to figure out what uh, 1 8 times 54 is equal to. Once we get this answer, all we have to do is divide that by 6, and then we will be done. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So 1 8 times 54, or 54 over 1. All we have to do to multiply fractions is to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So that's 1 times 54. So that's 54 over 8 times 1, which of course is 8. And we're going to uh, divide that by 6 or 6 over 1. Okay, so how do we divide fractions? This is very easy. 
So what we're going to do is change this into a multiplication problem by flipping the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So instead of 6 over 1, now we have 1 over 6. Okay, so we're almost done. So we need to uh, multiply 54 over 8 times 1 over 6. Now instead of 54, we're going to factor 54 to make our life a little bit easier. So 54 is the same thing as 6 times 9. So really the problem, uh, the problem now is 6 times 9 times 1 over 8 times 6. Now the reason why you want to factor here is uh, it makes our life a lot easier when we want to simplify or reduce fractions. So we can uh, cross cancel like factors. So this 6 can cross cancel with this, with this 6 and we're left with 9 over 8, which of course is our final answer. Okay, so you definitely need to understand PEMDAS and practice, practice this with all sorts of problems that involve basic numbers, fractions, positive and negative numbers, etc., etc. But uh, if you don't uh, write your workout one step at a time, you're not going to uh, see where you make mistakes. So get in the habit of being nice and neat and organized. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.